Welcome. Welcome to this Droid How-To Guide. This tutorial will show you how to use Droid to find out information about your digital files. You can then use this data to help preserve your collections and keep them accessible as long as possible. Droid stands for Digital Record Object Identifier and is a software tool developed by the UK National Archive to carry out file format identification. The output of Droid allows you to see where your files are stored, what file formats you have, and any errors these formats may have. You can then use this information to both preserve and describe your files. We will cover how to run the program and how to read the output. So let's get started. To open Droid, locate the Windows batch file named Droid in the folder and click to open. It may need some time to load, but when it does, the program will open and this screen will appear. First, we need to create a profile to tell Droid what files we want the information for. To do this, click Add. Navigate to the folder that you want to process, in this case, Test Folder, and click OK. Click the Start button to run the profile. The blue progress bar at the bottom gives an indication of how many files are left to run. And when the blue bar disappears, Droid has processed your profile. You can click on the plus sign next to, this, next to your folder to see the data that Droid has produced on your files. You can read the information on this screen but it will be easier to read and work with if the data is exported to a CSV file. A CSV file is a more basic version of a spreadsheet format. To do this, click Export, and then click Export Profiles. Navigate to where you want to store your file and give your file a name. Under Files of Type, make sure that comma separated values dot CSV is selected and click Save. When the Export Complete button appears, click OK and navigate to where you stored your file to check that the export was successful. Mine is up here on the desktop. So when you close Droid, a Save Profile box will appear. Click Save. Navigate to where you want to save the profile. Give it a name. And click Save. You now have access to it if you need to run it again for any reason. And now you're ready to read your data. Now that you've run your data through Droid, you need to understand the information Droid has given you about your files. So open the CSV file, and we'll talk through the columns that have the most useful information in them. So the first one is File Path, which tells you where the file is located. Then Name, which documents the name of each file so that you know what you're working on. Size shows you how large the file is in bytes and will help you identify any particularly large files that you're going to be working with. Type, which tells you if the entry refers to a file or a folder. Last modified, which tells you the date the file was last opened, 
please note this is not the date the file was created, but the date that the file was last opened. And lastly, extension, this one, format name, here, and extension mismatch, here, when taken together, give you information about the type of file the entry refers to and its format. So for example, in row three, dot pdf shows that we have a pdf and this is confirmed by the format name which is acrobat pdf but more specifically adobe version 1.7 was used to create this file and if the extension mismatch is false this information is correct and the file is definitely a pdf however if extension mismatch is true there is a problem the file is not a PDF and more investigation will be needed to make sure that it opens and is accessible. And just like that, you've run and read your first Droid profile. We hope that this tutorial helps you to keep your record safe well into the future. For further information, refer to the Droid Cheat Sheet on the Scottish Council and Archives website or the very easy to understand Droid User Manual on the UK National Archive website.